Let's sit relaxed. And try to focus all your attention in the present moment. This is the only time I have, most precious time with my son. Try to sit still, when body is still, mind will also be still. Now, visualize a point of light in the middle of the forehead, between the two eyebrows. I, the Divine Being, I, the Soul, I, the Ruh, Star, Spirit, Energy, the animating force of this body. I sit here. I, the soul, is the master. Master of my every heart. the power to create whatever I want to create. I'm not the victim of, of my surrounding. I'm a powerful soul, creator of my destiny. Welcome everyone. Anybody for the first time? Not today. <laughs> okay, you for the first time. Huh? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so the topic is very, very what? <laughs> More than interesting, I think very important, very important because you know, since I started this uh, life of Raj Yoga meditation from my maybe 26 years now, every day is a new realization and everything comes back to the thought. Huh? <laughs> yeah, when I was zero. <laughs> So, sister, you are here, you will be here, you will be So, yeah, really everything is around thoughts and so, and when I was thinking about this topic, I was thinking that it's like, you know, I have to just share my 26 year, years of journey, that's it, you know, <laughs> that everything is really thoughts. So, 
first thing we uh, understand in raj yoga meditation is that every thought we create is an energy with that energy like which kind of energy it's a separate matter every thought is an energy and every thought it's like either i am charging my mind or myself or i am becoming powerless with my thought it depends on us every thought is doing this to me that i am powering or not powering myself so if we look at our day from morning till evening sometimes people complain that oh i'm very tired today very tired but they have not done anything physical at all no one like you know one has like picked all the big big things or nothing just tired why because something was working overtime and that is everybody has experience of this overtime <laughs> yeah so yeah this is really important to understand that this is one machine mind the system as soon as somebody is born until the time we say they leave the body or die one thing is constantly going on that is thoughts and of course the breath thoughts are going on they say even not they say we know that even in our sleep in the form of dreams they say when you are fast asleep that time also two thoughts per minute we are still creating thoughts because least thoughts more charging of the you know body and mind takes place okay so fast asleep means two thoughts still the mind is creating something is going on and somebody is in stress and you know tension so these thoughts become what less or more more okay everybody we, we know this huh so the point is we have to understand a very very important ancient uh wisdom which i am trying to focus today through this class today and that is atma we say your thoughts creates your world have you heard about this so as is the thought so is the what so whatever we are today whoever we are today it's the result of whose thoughts our means so say my thoughts our okay what we will do no 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 i it's the result of my thoughts wherever i am in whatever situation i am because this is also raj yoga meditation teaches us to come out of that victim consciousness no more that I, my mood is off because of what because of weather is so bad because of so many people i can blame ha huh? <laughs> colleagues of course so bad my boss my this my that so raj yoga meditation is like no 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 if my boss is same and we are 20 employees under him and then the situation is same still every like 20 people will have different moods right not everybody will be affected to it, to the same level because everybody is different and their powers are different so as is the thought so is the world so in hindi the word is sankalp and srishti like thought and the world so we can safely say again that wherever we are whatever we are it's a result of our own but it's thoughts but sometimes it's really not that easy to accept because we say oh yeah okay my thoughts then again we we fall into the same pattern see we say every thought please understand this is the actually essence of today's session every thought creates feelings feelings creates what yeah. attitude 
an attitude creates what? Let us, okay, let us say behavior or action or yeah, karma, whatever you want to say. And collectively, ev my every behavior or action makes my what? Result. Result, outcome. Personality. And according to my personality, I make decision. And according to my decision, my destiny. Bus, easy, finished. Halas, halas, Om Shanti. That's it. Thoughts and destiny. Easy. So it's really so important to understand why, what is going on. So I really want to give you some ex examples from my own life, from my friends' lives and my experiences of this kind of like this lifestyle. How thoughts are creating the destiny. Atma, again sitting here. Huh? So, you know, if, uh, it's like maybe how many, 17, 18 years ago in Delhi, I was uh, giving a meditation course to a couple. And they were, uh, you know, they, they were lawyers, both very intellectual and smart. And so they were taking this meditation course. And then we were talking about thoughts. And they said that, uh, I, I was telling about these things that, you know, thoughts are so powerful, whatever we are creating, it's, you know, thoughts have the capacity and power to sway anything, change anything. So they said that, sister, you know, we are both very healthy uh, people, but we kept some money, keeping the thought that this money, it was like 1000 KD, something like this, kind of like rupees. So this money we are keeping if, if we fall ill or something, you know. And they said exactly same money was used for our sickness actually. Yeah. We kept that money with this thought. And exactly this has happened. It's because we, we, you know, gave power to that. And this is what we say that if uh, wherever thought or energy goes, thought goes, energy flows. Where energy flows... Things grow. So this is exactly what was happening, huh? Wherever thought is my thoughts goes, energy flows, energy flows, things grow. So whatever I want to grow. So they, they were giving energy to that. Oh, sickness, sickness. Okay, okay, done. Sickness. Anything else you want? So I just they are wishing for it. Right? Exactly. Because mind will not understand, oh, sickness is bad. I should not create it. Oh, they want sickness? They want to utilize the money for sickness? Let, let be it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, true. Anything, you know. So this is one example. Second is... Uh, um, one friend, you know, uh, she invited me some time ago for her engagement. I went to, I, to to meet her before the engagement, actually. She was just, no guests were there. We were chatting together. She told me that, you know, I have told my parents, if this marriage will not work, I will divorce. I said, still engagement has not taken place. What is this? And after some time, actually, the engagement was broken. This is it's like my first-hand experience, I'm telling you, not like from some hawa or something. So, and then she was like, yeah, this has happened. So I, I remembered her, this, this first sentence she told me when I hugged her, I will break it, huh? if it is. I have told my parents and my brothers and my this and my that. So it was, I said, okay. And uh, so many, so many examples are there like this power of thought. One is, uh, have you heard about a Indian, a very old uh, uh, like guru, Vivekanand? If you have not heard Vivekanand. So, you know, his very, very famous, uh, his uh, like lecture in Chicago in 1892 or something that, that time. So invite, he was invited there for a religious conference or like that. So he, when he was giving his lecture there, so 
otherwise he was just sitting you know very low profile nobody knew him he was sitting there then he was invited for his lecture and when he stood up started giving the lecture so whatever he was saying wherever he was moving all the whole crowd was moving with him and uh, you know like it was so impactful that every you can search about him actually and about this this incident and later on like maybe 3 4 years ago i was reading about reading his uh, not autobiography but some mix of biography and autobiography because it's a collection of his letters to his friend so he has written in that that uh, i know why that happened that everybody was so you know uh, impressed by me because i have always uh, taken care of my thoughts from my childhood or from my college days he said until till that day or now also he said that i have never created any kind of weak thoughts weak thoughts or in other words low vibration thoughts or body conscious thoughts many of you have done the raj yoga meditation course so we, i can use the word body conscious thoughts lustful thoughts like just anything which is draining your energy and he said that i know collectively that spiritual power was helping me there so it's like we all have that power but it's like we we, we think that it's like a such a precious thing my every thought you know we think money is very precious so how much you know we protect it and you know all those things we do we never just distribute take please take 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 we have to hide and what about my precious thoughts how much we create every day and it's like i create more thoughts what will be the quality yeah what quality more thoughts means really poor quality and this is also an experiment we have done in harmony house one time we said that okay everybody write your uh, uh, whatever weaknesses you have writing writing right so many so many so many so many you know nobody is like looking up also so busy writing the weaknesses and then when something nice comes okay write about your uh, qualities so everybody is like ha huh? qualities can i call my mother to ask my qualities then they are asking each other aunty can you tell me my quality so yeah because uh, well it also the self respect is less low because we think oh maybe i don't have this or it's, it's my ego or uh, creating some powerful positive thoughts looks like oh they are very selfish they think they are some but somebody but creating negative oh, i am very stupid you know i am so bad i this kind of thoughts we create a lot i'm too bad and i'm too this and i'm too that and i'm too whatever but people is not as adhd right 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 yeah these kind of thoughts true acha yeah so yes true because whole time this this is what is going on like we don't even care we don't even think that we really have to sister so yeah this is really really important that what's going on inside and also another example i would like to give here is uh, and uh, this is like as i told you this my all my study or whatever you know uh, dr deepak chopda and dr deepak chopda so he came to our institution in mount abu india and he there is a there was like a uh, gathering of 2000 doctors from all over india and he was sharing about his experiences and uh, his wife and his son and his daughter in law everybody was there and he was sharing about about his mother and he said that uh my mother had a different kind of disease skin disease and they are from jammu kashmir jammu in india so she had that disease some allergy from the flowers there some kind of flowers so he said that then doctor told us that you should take your mother out of this city somewhere and it should be okay 
so they took her out to a nearby another hill station in, in another city or state himachal so they took him there her there and she was okay for two months very good everything good so after two months they were coming back and as soon as the plane landed she said oh it started again see and then the then the pilot announced we have not landed in jammu we have landed in some other city he said because of the weather this thing she said oh it's not there now so it's going on here this is real life examples because we are so much busy in very superficial world and just day to day life we forget that there is a deeper inner world i i can pause and you know think and work on myself so this is and also like an, another example of how thoughts travel we believe in this or no thoughts can travel how how far <laughs> to to the moon yes yes true very powerful <laughs> so if i tell you okay go to go to go to where go to your uh, i mean like your favorite country in the world in one second i can go right this is the power of thought so yes it can travel across the globe we can, we know this so what happened that one king he said that i have to i want everybody to fill this pond with milk tomorrow everybody bring some milk and fill this everybody have to do this tomorrow morning i want it full and then everybody went like went back to their homes the subjects and then uh, one person thought everybody will put milk right if i put little water so what nobody will know then he created this thought i will put milk uh, water okay he put water so in the morning that the pond was filled with what everybody, everybody because thoughts travel very fast across the globe we know but it's like you know it's same city so in a way i'm trying to say that when we say oh, world is so bad these days what is this so who has created this world yeah we have created whatever kind of thoughts kinds of thoughts we are creating some people are seeing okay they are doing this and they are killing this and they are doing this but what about our thoughts we are in a way supporting or supporting that kind of behavior if i am creating those kind of negative low vibration poisonous thoughts about anybody and i need no no need to worry about the world this i have to worry about my world because this will automatically change the world but i worry about the world but inner world is like but it's in our hand the phone is in some our hand right and our vibration of the phone ha uh ha -huh. so the world is in our hand so we are receiving yeah Very that so true true actually i'm coming to phone actually phone is my favorite topic already <laughs> especially instagram <laughs> so yeah it's true this is true okay, yeah but it's so difficult very mushkil to you know filter but yeah let us talk about this topic which brother has just is there a difference between thought and yeah of course like intention is thought which kind of thought is there it is same actually uh, there is not like difference okay this is thought this is intention intention is a kind of thought but the which kind of thought any, any, mind, yeah um, mm -hmm. intention is more focused, focused yeah yeah true but as i said it is also a kind of thought but yeah more focused and more intense and you are uh, you you are able to be with awareness 
Feelings are coming from the thoughts just now. We, the root cause is that. Thoughts, feelings, and then you want to say intention, whatever. Because our topic is the root today. Thoughts. So, see, we say here, meditation. We, that this is the... Uh, how to... How will we know that how powerful our thoughts are, our mind is? So I just want to uh, discuss two points here, meditation and then some other point. So when we talk about meditation, so for the body, three things are very important. Huh? One is food and water. Okay, food is water. Then you will say pizza, then you will say chai, not like that. Okay. Breathing. And breathing. Breathing, okay. Sleep. Yeah, good. Everybody, of course. Just the, just the main thing we are trying to, and the exercise, okay. The rest you can say. Rest. And for the mind also, these three things are important. Food for the mind. Exercise for the mind. And sleep, yeah, rest. So, number one, let's talk about the food. Phone. Hmm? Yes, mindful. So, you know. Is it what you read? And what, you what you read, what you watch, what you discuss, what you hear. So true. Yeah. So, now we say that if I really want to uh, use this energy of thought in a most powerful way. So I have to focus on the time also. What time I can really harness that energy and that is in the morning time. So when we wake up in the morning, first five minutes to 10 minutes are the most important times. And what do we do in that? Oh, Even the eyes are closed, but <laughs> huh? This is the reality. So here, really, you know, recently, if you if you are following the news, Indian hockey team, they won the bronze medal in Olympics. So recently, the Prime Minister of India were, was talking to them, and uh, he said that these days. Youngsters, they are lost in the phones and this and that. And the hockey team, the captain, he said, Sir, but we want to tell you one thing. That as a team, we decided the whole Olympics, we are not going to even touch our phone. And they said that, why? And he gave the reason also. Because so many negative comments people pass. So many negative news is there. It affects our mind. And we just don't want, don't, cannot afford that. So we kept our phone away, no judgments, and then they won the prize. So yeah, first thing in the morning, it's like, you know, we say that when we wake up in the morning, first thing, our you know, body rested, mind rested, our mind is like a, like a uh, dry, like a ready, dry blotting paper tissue like very very dry very dry so anything you put on the tissue or the mind that time it will soak very very quickly very quickly but once it is full of water you keep putting it is it will flow out right same thing when we wake up in the morning first 10 minutes my subconscious mind is alert that time, if I am filling my precious mind that time in all the unnecessary waste things. First thing people do is start watching reels or news, whatever. I don't know. You, you know better about your life. I know. I'm sure. oh, I know. <laughs> reels. Reels is like, and then uh, all, and then was. Five more minutes and then 10 minutes and then 15 and then. 
So it's like my mind, my this precious blotting paper is now full. Now I, okay, let me study something nice now. Yeah, nice, nice. Good, good. Chal, keep it. Because already full now. If I can reverse the process, if I can fill my mind with something powerful, positive, I read something. But don't read from the phone, please. <laughs> <laughs> because you open uh, I'm reading and I have seen people here they say uh, we are uh, uh, you know taking the notes and they start actually they are replying to the whatsapp you know and everything is going on we know this we, we, we all do that so no phone the machine let the machine be a little away that just, just let us be real with ourselves for 10 minutes with a, take a pen and paper, write something. How many of you write during the day something like? Brilliant. Very good, very good, very, very good, yeah. So sometimes they say we write on the phone. No, 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 sorry. no, no need of writing on the phone. So nice, take a nice pen, you know, such a nice feeling. So this is so important that first few minutes in the morning, please spare yourself from all the, those negative things and that is why almost every religion tells us every faith tells us that first thing in the morning is what pray because we are told to to create the most powerful positive thoughts first thing in the morning and connect with the source so that the mind that empty blotting paper gets filled with the most powerful energy and my foundation of the day is built such powerful. Now, yeah, now 10 o'clock, okay, now you watch news, now whatever you do, otherwise the news goes in first, the violence, the blood, and now I try to read something nice, it will not work. Reverse. And meditation, of course, like food and the rest is, and the meditation is the exercise so yeah, try to create the most powerful thoughts. That is your exercise and you, you, you have done the meditation course here. Try to create the positive, powerful, peaceful, purposeful, pure thoughts. If it is not happening, then what will we do? We are not able to create. Then what will we do? Distraction. Distractions are there. True. So what will we, what is the solution? Mm -hmm. Put full stop. Put full stop. Full stop. Yeah. And then we're not able to create. So what? Huh? Stagnation. Nature. Stagnation. Stagnation. Yeah, is there. But some like in a spiritual way, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you know, some nice, powerful thoughts. I'm trying to create. I'm powerful. I'm peaceful. I'm this and that. Everything will be good. Oh, something is not happening. What we have to do? Yeah, try harder. No magic here. Like somebody said, oh, I give this person so much respect and love. Still, they are not changing. So our senior sister said, Achha, they are not changing. Okay, increase the dose. Give more <coughs> love. Oh, more love. Ah, not happening. Give more. Give more. That, that is the solution. I'm not able to do that. I'm not able to create. Okay, the solution is from the ancient wisdom, of course. Two things, please remember. If it is not happening, uh, I have to practice and disinterest. A dispassion, you say. These are the two things. Keep practicing. There's no magic here. Keep practicing. And disinterest means what? <laughs> yeah, you are interested, huh? <laughs> no, practicing means practice means, yeah, again and again, again. The frequency of the black mother from inside, so the notification won't happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those things we have to, that detail we have to check in our own lives, like what is distracting you. Like sometimes people say, oh, every five minutes, you know, I need a break. Which break? I have to play with my pet every five minutes. So these are also 
people want to play with the cats with the dogs with this okay still better than the phone <laughs> but much much better yeah of course notification this that keep the phone yeah we have seen people when they keep their phone little away their hands like you know where is my phone really it's like when people stop the symptoms come yeah right yeah people are running chat with them Something they are most important, and this dopamine, right? This is the effect. Yeah, dopamine an addiction. addiction, yeah. Do something nice, something nice, something nice. Oh, some notification. How many likes? Oh, no likes, no problem. But still, some other likes. Somebody else's. Let's watch that. Let's see. That. So yeah, I'm also uh, guilty of that. I'm telling my class every time that I keep, you know. Uh, in the name of, ah, these are nice things, you know, but still you have to put a full stop somewhere because it's wasting your time. And uh, very, very important, please, that first thing in the morning, I really have to take care of my subconscious mind. And disinterest means here that not everything in the world is there for my progress. Choose, filter, not this, not that. No, no, no. Not like every party I have to go to in Kuwait, every occasion I have to attend to, or every fashion show I have to go to. Okay, then we we have to choose then. There's nothing wrong in that. But if I want my inner world to be calm and powerful and peaceful and uh, healthy and uh, with lots of power inside, then I have to really, uh, you know, uh, put a boundary. Not every, every sale I have to go to everywhere. I have to, really not every day we have to go out and some time for the self. And uh, this is what I'm trying to say here, that we have to really understand what's really not like taking my power, my energy. So I have to say no to those things. So please remember, th these are the most important thing. In every scripture, every guru, every whatever, the, the yogis, just two things. Okay. You know, uh, this interest is like uh, getting rid of distractions. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I want my, I have, I want to open my Facebook also and Instagram also. This also, that also. So yeah, just no, no. Like brother said, no, no. This is also part of disinterest. No need. Prioritize. Yeah. Everybody has priorities. Like if somebody wants that, nothing wrong. But you cannot have both the things. That cannot happen. That is not the law of the world universe. You know, in America, when I told in the meditation class of the class also, I just remember this example that how, uh, you know, this first time when this shooting incident took place in America, you know, ch child, child, school, he was, uh, I was in college or school, I don't remember actually, but yes, then after some time, the study came out that why this happened. How come a school child taking his gun and killing people in his school? Because in in an average American home, when the this they watch the TV and there are many many thousands of scenes of violence every day going in their mind. Many thousand scenes of violence going here, and then what is coming out? That is coming out. So we are trying to change the outcome. Oh, we should know. But we are trying to talk about the root cause here. Thoughts, what's going on inside. So like if I want to talk about this pen, I want to, oh, I don't like this blue. I want it black. I want it red. I want it whatever green. I can keep saying now because I cannot change it now. But I could have changed it when it was in the raw material form. Raw material, I could have changed it. So raw material is my thoughts. And thoughts also coming from where? This is actually the solution for today. We are coming to that also. Just a little bit suspense. suspense. Yeah. Like why this is happening? Why this is here? Okay, now another important thing I just want to of course, regarding thoughts only. You know, there is another study about uh, 
uh, uh, this positive visualization there is a study by Dr. Uh, if I remember the name right, uh, something like this. Yeah, this is the name. Yeah, he is a Spanish neuroscientist and it's a study of neuroplasticity and it was published in 1990. And it is about how, you know, there were two groups of uh, people, two groups, and they were on, they were working on their visualization. So one group was, or everybody was non-pianist. They were not mus musicians, but they were like two groups are here. So one group was told, you have to use your fingers every day for a certain amount of time uh, for to uh, to play the piano, five fingers, whatever you have. No, no, no. Physically, you do it. Physically, do it. And the other group was told, you just have to do in your mind. You, you are not moving your fingers. Same amount of time every day, same amount of time every day. So after like one week or when the time was like up, they were all tested. And the result was same on them and on these, this group, exactly same. The first thing was in their mind, the motor cortex, the the place, the point which is responsible for the movement of fingers was changed same in both. They are really moving. They are not moving. But in their mind, they are moving. So it affected the mind to, to the same level. So how powerful is the mind? What mind will not know. It's so real. Can, we don't need to go to the gym. Yeah, you can. Try it. Yeah, no way. Try. Huh? Right, no weights. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, try. But it has to be very powerful and not mixed with any other thoughts. And give us the update then after one month. It's the memory. The mind's memory, self. Mind's memory, I don't know about this, but I can say that mind's power. It can be memory or whatever, you, you, you know, I don't know. But this is what I know that mind has that power. It will start because I have worked on myself for two things actually that I can share. But this is the something like here in Raj Yoga, we learn mind over matter. Huh? And this visualization in our global hospital in Mount Tabu, global hospital. So there was a study conducted on heart patients. So they were having their 90% arteries blocked. And there is a CAD program, cardiac artery disease program in a global hospital on a very large scale. It takes place every like three months. People go for the, you know, these uh, camps. And they... so when first time president of India, he visited Mount, Mount Tabu Global Hospital when he came to know about this study. So the study is that People were there like you, group of people, and they were all given this meditation, visualization, and of course, very, very uh, like pure food. Food, of course, important for the body and for mind. The visualization was that it's from God or from the source, the power is coming, or my mind is so powerful that the, all the arteries are becoming clear. They are visualizing it. My blood is flowing very clearly, nicely, fast, and whatever. And then no need of any operation, 90% blockage. And then the president of India said, I have to go. I have to check. You can read about this, Dr. Abdul Kalam. He is also called as Missile Man of India. So he went and he actually saw this that what is this i need to see so yeah visualization and also many 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 people are there in the world those who ha have caused the disease and healed the disease also okay, placebo. Huh, placebo placebo effect do you, everybody knows placebo effect yeah, like when you just uh, give just a uh, injection of water and they have this very powerful medicine it will heal you and people get start healing oh really nice this is working. So who is, yeah, it is, yeah, belief is where? Here. 
So yeah, it's like oh, it's so which kind of thoughts I'm creating while taking that it will it will heal me. Yeah, and it heals. So who is healing? Yeah. Not the water. I'm healing myself. This is the point. I am healing myself. So the point is what what I have to do now with all the these information. So the final thing is I have to increase my capacity, capacity to create the most powerful, peaceful, power, purposeful thoughts. Whatever I'm creating, okay, till now. But I have to increase my capacity to create those thoughts now. This is what the effort is now. So for that, so many things are there. That number one is the most important part, which I was discussing with Brother Atma today. And he also reminded me of a very important point. That number one point is awareness. General awareness. What is my general awareness in my life? That is actually responsible for my thoughts. And if you remember in our meditation course, we discussed about, uh, you know, people say, think before you speak. We say, think before you think. Huh? That is actually the awareness is, think before you think. Huh? Huh. Think before you think means be aware. Like, don't be dead and just create anything. You are a living being. Be aware. Oh, no, no, no. At least after creating five thoughts, I can put a full stop. No, no, no. People come here and they say, oh, after one hour of creating negative thoughts, I have so much headache now. <laughs> <laughs> so your watch also creating thoughts now. <laughs> Allow me to yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I keep standing. <laughs> so think before you think. No, we cannot afford any kind of weak thoughts, negative thoughts. No, no, not at all. For my mind, for my body, for my soul, for my people around me, those who I love. It's not worth it creating and then that is that will become my world my thinking is my world the world is so bad the world is so good according to my stage i define actually but i i meet so many people they say after going on to the world tour i need rest now you know not that i'm recharged now i need rest more rest i'm more tired now after the vacation after the vacation i need more vacation <laughs> But at least you have to know when you stop before it becomes overthinking, right? Uh -huh. This is exactly what think before you think means. I am aware. And that is, we always tell here, few steps, small, small steps we can, like, sorry, to, to increase the capacity, you know, capacity of my yeah. mind. How? How will I do that? Number one is, Every hour, you remember what, what do we do? Uh, yeah, what is that? Traffic control. Every hour, every two hours, just pause. Not Nobody is like, really nothing is happening to this world. If you stop for one minute, the world will be same. Exactly same. But you will be, your world will be different. If I pause for just a moment and create even in those 60 seconds 60 base thoughts are coming but one thought is really good then your one minute is like it's done it's good at least from 60 thoughts 59 were actually waste one thought like I made that effort and it worked so traffic control every two hours pause for 60 seconds and also, uh, yes, like brother also reminded, take care of the food. Food of what? Body, okay, your choice, but mind. You know, somebody comes here and she says that I talk on phone so much that my, the sister, like I feel, like I fell asleep 
then i wake up and still you know continue call call four hour five hours yeah she comes here she said sleep ah uh, i i i am here i am acha three hours only okay two more two more hours i can go so much so which kind of talk is that so, yeah like purposeful thinking or talking will be for two three five minutes ten minutes okay but not like five hours so take care of the food here and also the traffic control every two hours and uh, yes meditation in the morning and not only these things but every my life is not only after two hours it starts it's there 24 hours what am i thinking we really have to check am i are my thoughts about myself more or about others more most of the time it's like about huh true and you know when i went to the meditation center for the first time i remember reading this in hindi language that if you want to bring your destruction very soon very soon i want to destroy myself you know this kind of feeling if you have then start thinking about others all the time it will quickly you know help you to get to your aim destroying the self and opposite if i really want to rise in my life be introvert think about the self my okay why i am feeling what i am i am feeling ask yourself question yourself change yourself check yourself otherwise yes all the time if i'm thinking about others my finger is towards others so everybody else is responsible i am very good and that is not the case so i'm always the victim then so yeah so many so many thoughts like uh, to discuss here but the main things which i really wanted to uh, tell today is about increase the capacity and thoughts here is my world so be very careful if every thought i am increasing or decreasing the capacity or the power of the soul one I have seen here that when we, we we were at the airport i remember yeah so one child was like scrolling and the other was wanted to scroll but couldn't scroll so the parents he was troubling the parents said, okay let him scroll let me buy a new phone and he also started scrolling yeah because it's easy because parents don't have that kind of patience okay let me talk to parents busy scrolling you also scroll. So I parents have to be aware of this. Definitely. The Definitely. best solution for this is to let them you know, to be outside the home. I told my son, why are you taking your phone to the toilet? You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. father is cleaning to the washroom. <laughs> you have to give shower to the phone also now. <laughs> I think he was in uh, 10 to 11. Yeah, and 11 is not a child. <laughs> <laughs> but still 10, 11, still, if it's 10, 11, you're allowed to take the phone to the toilet? No. <laughs> you know, I saw like an ad for like, if you want to take your phone in the shower, you put it in like, and you can watch like, yeah. movies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're shower. True. Yes, yes. I also saw this. I remember. You know what she's saying? Yeah. That there's this plastic, you put the phone inside, you take and you can shower and yes. yeah. And there are, of course, you must have heard about this news that how these uh, apps are designed in such a way that you will be addictive yeah. anyway. Even if you want to not to be addictive, you will be because this is how they make it like. You are the father. Hmm? 
I am the father. Right, true, exactly. Yeah, yeah consume. The yes, how, how will more consume more? How people will focus on that? But you can't live without it because they made it so that we depend on it. Like even sometimes you pay with your phone. Like everything is yeah, with your This phone. is okay. This is very good. This is very good. But here comes our sister. Sister. Yeah, actually, I want to tell. I was remembering you today morning. Yeah. Really? I was thinking, where is she? And the past week. Oh, that's why. Because I was remembering you in the class every day. I said, where is she? Okay, when I saw you, I was so happy. My thought, I know. Yes, I so know. Really, 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 really. Ah, really? <laughs> no problem. You are okay now? Yeah. Okay, good. So, Atma, give her the sweet sister. Take the sweet because you came. You are so sweet. <laughs> so, yes. So, all these phone dramas we know. That... Uh, like it's of course it's just to make us addictive and all those things but we know this that those who have made these whatsapps and they always try that they, they, their their children are not near phone at all now, this is also the news they know how like i was telling in the last class that about restaurants and food that uh, somebody comes here and they and then they said that my 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 friend has a restaurant and I asked him, brother, I never saw you eating in your own restaurant ever. He said, brother, how will I eat? I know what I feed. <laughs> same thing. Same thing, na? They know that how addictive it is, so they will not give it to their children. Yeah, any questions? Then we finish, yeah, with some meditation. Time is up. And you know, every Sunday we have meditation, like open meditation. You can all come, sit for meditation here. I want um, to share something. Yeah, here. please. Oh, sorry. I want to share something. The sister mentioned that hmm. the son said, why I should not take a phone to the toilet when hmm. Papa is taking. So these days, even if you tell uh, your children to do this or not to do this, they will not listen. But your behavior will re reflect more on them. This is very important. Yeah. I, I am a witness to it. I will share one old incident of 25 years ago. Uh, I know there is a Diwali, you know, festival mm -hmm. like Eid, you know, great. Right. Mm -hmm. So my daughter was very small at that time, maybe two, three years. And uh, one of my friends called me for dinner. I said, no, I'm not coming because some guests are coming at home. She went to them. Mama, who is coming? No, I heard daddy is saying somebody is coming. Mm. So he must have said like that. No, he's lying, but he tells us not to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really a fact. Yeah, yeah, true. So what we Parents. don't need to reach them, practice ourselves and it will work. Yeah. One of the most problems yeah. nowadays is the educational system. Yeah, uh, th there are many things, but at least what we can do at our level Thoughts Very minimum, you know. Yeah, yeah. And because when people yeah, I do writing, agree. Yeah. Reading and go to the PDF for phone, this will make them uh, slaves for phone. That is true. So Very go true. Back to the I agree with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And also, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, please. I just have uh, one question. Mm -hmm. So, is the anxiety like um, a thought, or like does it come from like negative thoughts, mm -hmm. or like are they all related? Yes, 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 yes. Because you reminded me of a sister who used to come here, and when she came here, it's like maybe ten years ago, and I heard for the first time these words actually at that time: anxiety, panic attack, something else was there also. Depression, no, that I, I heard before, but something, these two. And then when she came, so because she was coming and then I have to help her. And I told her about thoughts that, yes, you have to empower yourself. You have to empower, you have to take care of your thoughts. And you know, she came maybe like three months every day, every day, every day, you know. Then at the end of th three months, she opened up more. She said, Today, I want to tell you that first time when you told me about these things, I was thinking, Avitra doesn't know. She's just saying like this. I said, Achha. And then she said, now 
I know that was the best decision, best advice I've ever got. And then because what I told her and what I'm telling you and sharing with all of you and myself also, that one thing is my thoughts, other is my this body. These are two different things, body and mind, huh? body. So mind is that subtle faculty of the soul, which is creating thoughts, subtle faculty. I cannot touch the thoughts and the minds and the feeling. The body and the brain is my hardware. So whatever the medicine we are getting, tablets, it's for the body, brain. So it's not actually helping my thoughts in that way. It's helping me just to sleep, not curing it. Like when, yeah, yeah, it's like just patch up for some time. It's not hitting the root. It's just because this is that's what science knows. Not beyond physical, only physical, physical. Let's give this hormone this, so people will sleep. Okay, when they wake up, they are into that. Okay, take medicine again because the chemical. But meditation means we go beyond that physical and we try to hit that root cause. Whatever is there, insecurities are there. And meditation, this lifestyle actually increases our self-respect, empowers us. And uh, yeah, you're saying something. Food, definitely. Food, definitely. Yeah. GMO or gluten. Definitely. That is a different. Next time, maybe I will take the, this chap, this food. Yes. Gluten and sugar and okay. it's 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 a huh? Mm -hmm. Yes 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 true yeah. <laughs> yeah, like at least some physical changes which we can bring in our life. Like brother said, go for mat and go for this kind of or like you know yoga. You know, yoga, like people do this uh, shavasan, this just breathing, like long breathing exercises. They will really calm you down. And then because every Friday, Saturday, we go for yoga to Indian embassy. It's free of charge. Everybody can come and they teach nice things. I'm inviting you now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Outside, winter and uh, inside only I have seen. But yes, you can always go. If you really are serious, you can always contact us here because you will need a pass. They have not checked yet up to now, two years, I know. But still, every every week they send a pass. So Friday, Saturday, 7.30 in the morning, Indian Embassy. It's really nice. Very, very nice instructors are there. And because you see, we do this kind of meditation, but still uh, we see many people are getting benefited there. It's really good. And of course, we are here for your help if you want us. Any other question? Uh, can we next time do something? Like? <laughs> and we have to make... Nini, actually, I will do, you know what? If some phone will ring. No, 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 that's what I mean. That's practice. Yeah. Huh, okay, practice. At least we are saying community. Yeah. yeah, everybody has to... No, I think it's, it's not the problem in the past. So it's also problem in others. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, true. Yes. Yeah. see, sometimes you're right, brother, you're right. But the point is, you know, because we don't know next time these people will be there or other group will be there. Okay, so true. We can do it. See, we will. We can do. Okay, let us start with this thing that we make sure that our phone is on silent mode at least. Bus. Let us start with this at least because, like sister was saying, that she she's taking photographs and you know it makes life easy. Sometimes, so in our classes actually we do this. If somebody's phone ring, bus. Then I take the phone for two days. I'll not give. 
that i do if you want that i can do this see the, the point is we cannot be like phone free like as i said yeah we can be we can put our phone on silent mode actually this is our mistake also maybe we have not put any sign or anything right that's happening ha chalo chalo brother sweet is coming for you ha pani piyo aap aaram se shanti se baitho thoda who has a question ha zoom zoom because you're all very your celebrities people are No, I was just asking you that as you told awareness, mm -hmm. right? Like awareness is the key, right? So for the thoughts, many times we are aware. You know, I'm just telling. I I would say I am aware. No, I should not say this or whatever it is. But still, that please, that awareness is also working, and but it comes out mm. again. Yeah. practice <laughs> not just you know, practice but yeah empowering the self it is a very subtle and little slow process empowering the self even body building takes like after 3 months people start seeing some muscle or something huh? and this is much more subtler so we really have to make much more effort and uh, it's like i am working on my this uh, reactions that time i'm think oh why i'm i'm why i did that but i have to work on this when everything is calm i have to make my mind powerful when everything is calm like i always give this example that you know if you bleed or bleed, what what was if you sweat if you sweat before the war more you will bleed less in the war something like this so we have to practice before like when i was in mount abu i saw all the this you know soldiers practice tick 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 ha in the mountains i said what is this is war going on something they said no 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 they practice every day there is no war but they have to be ready all the time this is the point what to do kamal ji like practice no no don't say you know it's coming in my it's not like unknowingly it's coming yes, out yes. you are knowing don't say don't speak Yeah, because then our sometimes our ego is there. Now we then ego comes, or then uh, we have deep karmic accounts also. Let us do karmic account next time. Karma lesson. Very aware. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not like I'm just speaking out. I'm not. See, see, one second. When I say awareness, it has also some deeper meaning. Also, when we say you're aware, yeah, this is my this and this. but also aware about my reality i am a very powerful soul i am peaceful soul this is my reality yes i am aware about my karmic accounts i should not do this this i am aware but now bigger reality that i am much more like this is not my honor to just you know this awareness that you are a very royal soul it's not in your honor to be just okay चलो सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वी डू कर्म लेसन ओके देन आई हैव टेकन द फोटोग्राफ हां नेक्स्ट टाइम आई वांट टू से एवरीबॉडी ओ सॉरी नेक्स्ट टाइम आई डोंट स्पीक अरबिक सो नो इट इज अरबिक नेक्स्ट टाइम नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट वी विल सी लेट अस सी नेक्स्ट मंथ नो चलो लेट अस बी इन द प्रेजेंट नाउ Just listen to the sound. Observe the movements or the heartbeats. 
for the blood flow in the body. And I remind myself about my real identity. Identity of pure divine being. I, the diamond, very subtle point of light. sitting in this body, in the middle of the forehead. I am a powerful soul and my power is my stability. Power means when I choose my responses, nothing comes automatically. I am a loveful soul. Love is my original nature. I have love and respect for every human being on this earth even though many people's behavior I don't approve but still I have the knowledge everybody is going through their own challenges so I go beyond those shortcomings and my love flows for everyone. Just visualize your love is reaching to every soul on this globe. Every living creature. I am a peaceful soul. Peace is my original asli nature. To be peaceful means I create only powerful, meaningful, pure thoughts, no ordinary thoughts. the soul. I remember all these my virtues while playing my parts in this world. There is outer world externally. This is my internal world, my real world. Let me separate these two the outer world, not disturb the peace of the inner world. Oh. 